1800s, two artists named Paul Signac and George Seurat began experimenting with new painting techniques. Instead of painting the traditional way, blending colors together using long strokes and blending paints, these artists covered their canvases in tiny distinct dots or short dashes of paint in contrasting colors, just like I did here with the title frame for this video. Here, in this infamous piece by George Seurat titled Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Jatte, you notice when looking at the paintings from a distance, your eyes blend the dots and colors together. But when you examine them up close, you can see the individual dots or dashes. Art critics at the time made fun of this technique and called it pointillism because they were only using the point or tip of the paintbrushes. The artists, however, agreed because that is exactly what they were doing and the term just stuck. Sorry guys, joke's on you. Today, you can find many artists who took a fresh and modern approach to pointillism. Two examples are Yoyoi Kusama, whose art is bright, colorful, whimsy, and fun. And Jerry Wilkerson, who also added a pop art flair to his pointillism pieces. But wait, what's pop art? Well, that's for another day. Let's get started on our grab and go art project. Get your bag out and inside your bag, you'll see four containers of acrylic paint, a coloring sheet, an extra piece of paper, Q-tips, toothpicks, and a rock. I know, just stay with me here. So if you've been paying attention at Art Club, you may know this, but if you're new, using the four colors of paint I provided, you can mix them to make more colors. Here's a little guide on how you can do this. You can also complete this project using tips of markers, colored pencils, or crayons if you missed out on the grab and go bag. Just keep following along. So you can see I prepped my space by laying out my paints and my brushes, which are, in this case, our Q-tips and toothpicks. Mix your colors ahead of time if you'd like to use more than four. I pre-mixed orange and brown. Then, simply color in the image using dots of varying sizes and colors. I fast forwarded the video for the sake of time, but all in all, this film, or this filling in took me about 20 minutes. Okay, so the rock. Any guesses what were you going to do with that? Okay, so here's where you get to put your own spin on pointillism. Using your paint Q-tips and toothpicks make a fun decorative piece for your home. I made a simple mandala pattern on mine. Pretty easy to do. Um, just wanted to give you guys something else um, where you could put your own spin on this different painting technique. Thanks for joining our virtual art club this week, guys. I really miss seeing you, but I hope you still had fun. Please share your art with me by posting a picture online. Tag us and use the hashtag WPLArtClub, and I'll repost on our social media. See you next time.